Hello guys and welcome once again to this channel. If you haven't here and if you haven't, it is so very nice of you to pass by. You already know the drill. If you're not subscribed yet, then you should definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you are, then turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video. So today's video is going to be this massive amount of skincare that I have right in front of me. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a skincare video or a Q&A. And most of you said skincare, 58% to be exact. And then 42% of you said Q&A. I forgot to take a screen screenshot but that's what happened that's the last time I saw it and it was like almost it had almost been 24 hours so we are going to get into what I am loving right now what I'm using right now and also I'm going to show you other things that I do love but I'm not using right now and then my skin is not looking the best right now because I was using this skincare line that I got as a trial and I don't absolutely love it but I have it here anyway to show you because I didn't want this to be the example of the things that I do love so anyway if you want to see what I'm using right now and what I'm not using but I still love it then just keep on watching Okay, so I'm basically going to do this like by the order that I use the items in. Little background, my skin used to be very, very extremely oily. Now it's more like oily combination, thank God. And that is due to one product that I have right here that I'm going to talk about. And I cannot stop talking about this product. I cannot stop praising it because it is so good and it has transformed my skin for the better. So anyway i have large pores which i haven't really found like the best solution for them yet but that's just i'm just telling you like what my skin is so that you know if these items may work for you or not if you have like dry skin sensitive skin that i may not have the best suggestions for you but if you have oily skin combination skin even normal skin and large pores then you may want to pay attention to this I also do have some products that are good for like dry patches which is not necessarily dry skin but dry patches so anyway let's get into this the first things that I use are makeup remover now right now I'm obviously not wearing any makeup and there won't be like a demo here as opposed to with everything else or not everything else but some things I'm not wearing any makeup right now, so I'm not going to show you like a demo of me using these things, but I do want to talk about my favorite makeup removers. I like removing my makeup with either wipes. And the only wipes that I like are these from Kirkland. These are the Costco brand, and they are so, so, so good. They are for all skin types. I love them because they're very wet. They don't irritate me. They don't feel oily like once I'm done removing everything. Like I know a lot of people love the Neutrogena ones, but those make me feel so gross and like sticky and oily. And I have tried so, so, so many other brands of wipes and I just cannot get into any of them. I have tried the simple ones and I just, there's just nothing that I love as much as these. Even though I don't think I've tried the micellar simple ones and I've heard that those are like better. So I may want to try those soon but these are my favorite right now so when I'm in a rush I don't really like want to get in the shower or in front of the sink or anything like that then I'll just use the wipes but I don't do that all the time and also when I do use wipes I still wash my face all the makeup remove removal methods that I'm going to show you I still wash my face after I suggest that you do that I just don't trust any makeup remover to do a well enough job so that you don't have to wash your face you know what I mean I just that's just what I prefer so that's one of the things that I like is those wipes the second things that I like are like micellar waters or like cleansing waters and my favorite is this one from Bioderma I still have this like little mini I bought this and it was like a full-size bottle and it brought the mini and this is all I have left and I like I'm guarding this with my life because I don't want to run out of it but this is incredible this is hands down the most amazing makeup remover in any shape or form that I have ever tried this is amazing when I tell you it's amazing it's just amazing and they do have like a few different versions of it this one is the Sensibio H2O and it's just the best this removes your eye makeup waterproof mascara anything anything liquid lipstick this just does such a good 
job at removing everything and I'm obsessed with it but it is a little pricey so I do have another one that is comparable to this one except it's not that good for eye like eye makeup especially like waterproof mascara and it's this one from Sue, which by the way you can get this one on Amazon and also on Beautylish and I think there's like other websites but those are the two like where I would get it and then this one you can get at Walmart and also like on their website. This one is from Sue. This is the Purifying Charcoal Cleansing Water. And this does a really, really, really good job at removing like all the makeup, face, liquid lipstick, eyeshadow, eyebrows, all of that except waterproof mascara. It just, there's just no other cleansing water that does it aside from this one. So, but this one is still really good and it does leave me feeling like very, very clean which I like a lot. And then the third way that I like, oh, actually, you know what? There's another way, there's four ways now that I think about it. The third way that I like removing my makeup is with a cleansing oil. And the one that I love, that I don't have with me right now because I ran out and I have so many other ones right now that I just I haven't bought it again, is the one from Julep. The Julep cleansing oil is amazing. It removes everything after you wash it off with like just water. It doesn't leave your skin feeling like super oily or anything like that, even though, again, I still wash my face after but even though it's an oil it doesn't leave you like oily if you know what I mean so I really like that one and then the fourth way which is like the latest one that I have discovered is with this little makeup remover or makeup removing towel the makeup eraser that's what that's called this does actually work I've only used it I think two or three times but it does work and it's really good so I do like this the only thing is again this doesn't remove waterproof mascara or I don't think it does a good job at like any mascara to be honest or you may be able to but you would have to like pull your eyes a lot and you don't want to do that because that will cause premature wrinkling so you just don't want to do that but for the rest of the face this does work it's amazing I'm very impressed by this so there's a few things that I like to wash my face in terms of like devices. So I have my Clarisonic right here. I've had this for years, but I haven't used it in years to clean the face or at least like in a year. This is a very good, when I was younger, I got this, I wanna say maybe four years ago, something like that. At that time, I really, really enjoyed it. It was excellent for like breakouts, acne prone skin, all of that, which I do have as you can see that was great for that but it got to a point where it was very abrasive even though i always had the sensitive brush it was just very abrasive and i just decided to stop using it for a while and just to be a little more gentle with my skin and just i stopped using it but it is good i just don't think i don't want to say that you don't need to get it or that it doesn't work because it does work but it, you just get to a point where you just want to be like a little nicer to your skin. And so that brings me to the next device, which is the Foreo. So I actually just got this a few weeks ago. I got it in my Fab Fit Fun box, which I just started trying. It was my very first box. And I signed up because I saw that they would get this. Like this itself is way more than what I paid for the box. So that's amazing. And I have been eyeing this for years because I've heard that since it's not a brush and it's just like silicone, it's just way more gentle on your skin. So that's why I was curious about this. And I've been using it for I think two weeks now, maybe a little longer. And I really, really, really like it. It's very gentle. It's super easy to use. Look how cute and small it is, by the way, which they do have bigger ones if you're into that. But I was totally fine with the little one and it's very gentle it cleans your skin very 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 well it leaves you feeling super clean and again it's gentle which i prefer i think that even if you are like acne prone if you have breakouts you just want to be a little nicer with your skin if you're worried about wrinkling like i just think that if i have to choose from these i would like pick the for you and i still have this one because now i have like the makeup brush for it and I do use it for that but for skincare I just prefer this one but if you cannot afford any of these which I completely understand then I really like these things to cleanse your skin these are cognac sponges this is a brand new one that I had like as a backup and then I just got into the for you so it's fine but this is excellent you don't have to get this brand at all I see them at TJ Maxx 
all the time and they're super affordable i've seen them for like as little as two three dollars so if you don't have these things and you just want to you just want something to like clean your skin like deeper then you may want to try that it's very very good now when it comes to actual products for cleansing and this is what i'm going to get into the skincare line that i have been using i feel like this video is going to be pretty long i'm sorry about that but i signed up for this free trial of this skincare line which i actually told you guys about on instagram because they had a promo where you just pay a dollar for it and you get like the entire line and they have i think three options of skincare maybe two i don't know and i signed up for the acne edit which i have right here this is an xn which is nurture by nature skincare i have been using this i think for three maybe already four weeks to be honest and <laughs> i can't say that they're bad products like i can't i can't say that they don't work I can't say that they're bad so let me go very quickly over all of these i got the acne edit so in this one you get the cleanser the toner the overnight treatments and the spot treatments and i've been using all of them but i have to say out of these four products the only one that i think i like and i feel like actually did something is the toner i really really like what this did to my skin i just always felt like very clean after using this with the cleanser i did feel clean but i just i never felt like it did like it was extraordinary like a few days maybe a week into this skincare i felt like a lot of the texture in my skin was gone and that's when i told you guys about it on instagram because i was so impressed by it but a few maybe a week after that i started breaking out and i know that when with these like type of lines and products i know that there's like a purging period or i don't know what they call it to be honest but but basically there's a time where your skin is supposed to like really break out and everything that's like bad inside is supposed to come out and then like the skincare would like deal with it and make your skin better but i went through that and i said okay at first i said okay I get it which is actually where all of this is from i like broke out here like a lot and then on this side a little bit too but it wasn't as bad as like this side like this is still from that time and so i thought okay this is something you gotta go through it's fine so that's when like i really started using the acne treatment the spot treatment because i thought well this is what that's for right I used it one, two, three nights, nothing. It was doing absolutely nothing. And I have other like spot treatments that would literally work overnight or like within two nights. So the fact that this was just not doing anything, and I promise you, I used that spot treatment every single time I saw like an actual breakout, I would put it there, nothing. It never did anything and I just, I don't like it. The overnight thing, I, it just never did anything to me. I, it did absolutely nothing the cleanser like i said it did that thing the whole purging thing and then after it they kind of like started going away a week after that again i break out again same spot so i just said you know what this is just not working i started using i actually just stopped using this line like three nights ago and started using this one which is what i was using before that and i kid you not <laughs> Two nights after using this, this has already like gone down. Like there's a little bit of texture, but like, see like they're not sticking out or anything. So I just, I don't like that line. I'm going to keep using the toner because I do like it. But the rest of the things I just, no. They did absolutely nothing for me. So I just, that's not to say that it won't work for you or that the other lines don't work or that this one doesn't work. Just for me, it didn't work. The toner is the only thing that I feel like did something, so I'm going to keep using that, but the rest can deal with it. Anyway, moving on. The cleanser that I do like is this one. I have been using this for a few months, and my skin was reacting very, very, very well to this. Now, if you guys know Lustrolux Katie, she's been talking about this for a while, and I just never listened. And then my sister asked me, hey, I'm looking for like a new cleanser. What do you recommend? So I said, oh, you know what? Katie has been talking about this. Why don't you try that? my sister tried it and she said um it's drying out my skin a little bit do you want it because this is actually for normal to oily and my sister's more like normal to dry so she said it's drying me out a little bit do you want it so i took it off her hands 
and I love this so much. I honestly don't think I'll like ever get rid of this. It's so good. It's so gentle. It keeps my skin clear. It keeps my breakouts like in check. I just love that a lot. So that's what I use to actually like cleanse my skin. I have nothing else to say about it except it's very, very good. Moving on, what do I do after that? Toners. Okay. So let's get into tone. I have so many products in front of me and I feel like this video is going to be like 30 minutes long. So I apologize. Aside from the one that I just told you about the NXN one, which I do like, that one is still not as good as these two that I have right here. So first of all, I have here the Derma E Radiance Toner with Glycolic Acid and Rooibos. Rooibos? I'm not sure how you say that, but I've been using this toner for a while. I was using it before that line again and I really, really like this. It gives you like a very pleasant peeling sensation like you don't actually peel like if you've ever gotten a peel which i haven't but i have used like peeling products after the whole like peeling process your skin just feels like very smooth and like kind of like squeaky clean in a way if you know what i mean that gives you that feeling like every time but it's not like aggressive or anything that it like actually peels your you know what i mean i really 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 like that and i recommend it but if you are on a budget which by the way this is not expensive but if you don't want to spend like that much then the other toner that i like is just plain witch hazel mixed with tea tree oil which i have right here this little bottle is from dollar tree so that's just a dollar and I just mix them here. I forget what the like amount of each one is, but if I find it, I'll write it somewhere here. Or you can just look it up on Pinterest. It's all over the place. <laughs> and you just mix the two right here and then just, that's a toner. And it's very good. It's excellent. Does a great job at keeping your skin very clean. And you can just look up the benefits of witch hazel and tea tree for the skin because they are really, really, really good. So those are the toners that I like. Oh, I actually just skipped scrubs and masks. So let's rewind a little bit. So there are a lot of scrubs that I like. I mean, it's kind of hard for a scrub to go wrong and not work. But there's one scrub that I always feel makes a huge difference in my skin and it's funny because this is actually the one product that made me fall in love with derma e as a brand i'm talking about besides something that i'm going to talk about in a little bit but years and years ago the very 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 first time that i went to generation beauty which was i can't even remember the year it's been like three four years maybe something like that or five i don't know but the very first time i went to gen beauty derma e gave out samples of a scrub and it was like a little white jar with like a purple label and i had i think two samples of that and i love them so 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 i'm telling you so much it just made my skin my skin feel so smooth so clean amazing and then i got like into other derma e products and i just like forgot about that scrub and then recently derma e invited me to an event in new york and i went and they gave me this scrub and I was like, oh, okay, like another scrub. But then I smelled it. And like all the memories just came like flooding my brain back. And I remembered that scrub that I fell in love with and that made me fall in love with Derma E as brand. So this is excellent. It's just, it's so good. It's an exfoliating facial peel. It's a microdermabrasion scrub. So it has kind of like the same effect almost as the radiance toner which like after it you kind of feel like a peel has happened even though it hasn't but it's so good the little like scrubbing things are not too big not too abrasive they're very fine and just such a good scrub and i think that's the only one that i have right here actually because like i said there's a lot that i like but one that has like i've noticed a big difference every time i use it is that one so moving on to face masks <laughs> this is an interesting category because i have so many face masks so i have like i said oily skin and acne prone skin so the face masks that i tend to love are like to target those issues if you know what i mean so i have three here they're like three different price ranges which is 
convenience i guess so the first one is this one from queen helene and it is the mint julep face mask i get this like a cvs or walgreens or something like that this is for oily and acne prone skin and i love this this smells like mint which is so nice when you put it on it feels very cooling and it like burns a little bit but in a good way and this is gentle enough that i can use it like two to three times a week and it will be like completely fine and I always notice like when I break out a lot or visibly or like, you know, you have like actual bumps of breakouts. I always notice that they dry out like within two, one to two days after using this. So I love this because of that. Something very similar to that is the very famous Glam Glow, which I love. But this one is good not only for like drying out breakouts, but also for the dark spots that are left after after the breakouts and also like your pores this is very good but it's also very pricey so if you're on a budget then you don't have to get this you can just get the mint one or you can get this one which i get from amazon and it is the aztec secret indian healing clay now this is intense out of the three this is the most intense one because this tightens your skin like crazy like you cannot move but not only you can't move but it like tightens your skin to like the center and you kind of feel like when everything is dry it's so funny but this is intense and i would not use this like more than once a week because when you take it off your entire complexion is like very red and it goes away within like 30 minutes but I wouldn't use this like more than once because it is intense, but it does work. You can mix it with either water or the best way to do it is mixing it with apple cider vinegar. And it just, it draws everything out. Like this is, this is legit. This is intense and it's so good. So those are my three favorite masks. Now we went over toner and I guess and now we'll talk about moisturizers. Oh, two products I almost forgot to mention are one, this lip scrub, and this is from the brand Pure. Now, I have a few lip scrubs, and I've tried a few, but the only one that I've ever felt like it makes an actual difference is this one. It's very good. It's just a little inconvenient to use because it's like in a pencil form, but it's excellent, and I really, really, really like it, so I wanted to give it a quick mention. And then another product that has, I guess, its own category is this Scar Gel from derma e now i've only used like i have a few little packets like this that i got at the party that i went to but i've only used one of them and it is to like lighten up scars and with that one little packet that lasted me i think three to four nights i already noticed a difference when i used it now this was before that line that i went into but i'm going to like start using this again because i did feel like it made a difference in like the scarring i have i think two or three more little packages and then after that i am buying the full size product because i think that it actually works and it's very very good and lastly let's get like into moisturizing now there's like a lot of other steps of skincare that you can do you can do like um, serums and like moisturizing sprays and all of that but I didn't want to get into any of that because I don't think I have favorites in those categories just yet so I don't want to talk about it but here is the product that changed my skin I'm telling you my skin used to be absolutely oily like I would get oily with any foundation any modifying foundation any modifying powder any modifying primer any modifying um setting spray anything my skin would just get oily within a few hours like it was insane it was something i had to deal with it was like i used to carry little um blotting sheets with me everywhere and i always knew that i had to use them within like two hours or something like that but and it's kind of funny because if you have oily skin you may have heard that oil combats oil and you may never believe it until you start doing it. And I got this at a Gen Beauty. This is from Derma E. This is the Radiant Glow Face Oil. This is in collaboration with Sunkiss Alba. And this product changed my skin. I can't say that my skin is like oily anymore. I would say it's more like combination because I no longer get like super oily through the day. I may get a little shiny here and there but it's nothing like it used to be and it is because of this product as soon as i started using this i noticed the difference like right away 
and as you can see it's been a very well loved and I already have to go buy a new one and this is like the Derma E products are not the cheapest they're not like drugstore prices but they're also not like expensive you know they're like the in-between which is one of the reasons why I love them aside from the fact that they have excellent excellent ingredients in their product so I think you noticed that I mentioned maybe three or four of their products and it's because I do like them that much so this is amazing if you have oily skin do yourself a favor and start using an oil because it will change your life so I use this under or over moisturizer it doesn't really matter to me the order but I do use it every night so for moisturizers I have these two here this one is from Neutrogena and it is the Hydro Boost Hydrogen, no water gel that's the name of it I like this it's super similar to the water bomb by believe which that one is a little pricey it's from Sephora and I was obsessed with that one for a while but this one is super super similar and I actually think I prefer this one and I love that it is cheaper so I love that one especially if you have like oily skin that one is like very light very hydrating very cooling I don't know I just I like it a lot and then the other one that I like is this super random moisturizer which I get from Amazon Haley told me about this if you know if you're on Twitter you probably know Haley but she started using this and her skin changed completely like in terms of dark spots so I bought it and it does work it's really 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 good you just have to be consistent with it but it does work sometimes i just use one of the two depending on how bad my skin is at the moment but usually i'll just use this one at night and then this one in the morning so that's just how i like to do it then for eye cream there's a few that i've tried and they're okay but the thing with my eyes is that they are super sensitive and usually things will like make me cry or irritate my eyes so there's only one product that has never irritated my eyes and it is so expensive which is ridiculous and i need to find something that's similar and not as pricey but i just keep going back to this for and getting samples because i can't bring myself to pay for it and it is the bobby brown eye cream which i have right here and this sample will last you forever so if you've never tried it and you're looking for a good eye cream try it at sephora this will last so long and it's so good this is my favorite and I just keep going back to it even though I tried like other ones but that was just the best and then lastly for my lips don't forget about hydrating your lips every night apply a lip balm and that will that will keep your lips nice and hydrated and wrinkle free for a while so I have tried so 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 many lip balms and there's one from Tony Moly that I do like but that one is a little pricier but there's one that if you guys know me i am obsessed with and it is this one from carmex which i get at the dollar tree so anyway that is all of the products that i love i'm pretty sure that i have mentioned other things before that i do like that i enjoy but i think that these are my favorites and these are all things that i have actually seen results with and that I've seen a difference and that I really, really, really like. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it so, so, so much. It helps me and it helps my channel. And I hope that you did enjoy it. And thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you have any other ideas or requests for videos, if you still want that Q&A because I saw that 42% of you didn't want it, then leave me some questions down below and I'll film that eventually for you guys. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much and have a lovely Wednesday. Bye.